Hello fellow Aussians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to... with these story cards. And if you love The Land of Oz as much as I do, make sure to tap that little red OZ at the bottom of the screen and subscribe for more Oz content. I post new videos on the 15th and last day of each month. There were numerous card sets that were produced around the world to promote Return to Oz back in 1985. And in the United States, the largest set of cards was produced by Topps. And if you are not familiar with Topps, they are most famously known for creating their baseball cards and Bazooka Bubblegum. Bazooka Zooka Bubblegum, Bazooka Zooka Bubblegum. The set includes 44 cards with stickers on one side and a picture on the other. The pictures tell the story of the film. Cards 34 through 43 create a picture of Dorothy and TikTok in the mirrored throne room. There are numerous cards in this set that contain photographs that we have never seen released individually. You've just got to love some of these shots of the Cowardly Lion, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow. There's even one card that includes a blooper that was in the finished film. And if you know what I'm talking about, please comment down below. The cards were packaged in little packs containing six cards each and one stick of bubblegum. The packs had four different designs with Dorothy and Bellina, Jack Pumpkinhead, the Scarecrow, and TikTok on the front. And the back of the packet mainly gives details about the gum. And there is a disclaimer here. It says that the gum should not be consumed by gnomes as it contains eggs. Okay, I totally just made that up. I wish it said that on the back. And besides the individual packs, I also have an entire box of cards. If you had gone to the stores in 1985 to buy these cards, you would have bought them in one of these boxes. Each of the boxes contain 25 packs each. Okay, so how many cards would have been in each of these boxes? Okay, so six times 25, 150, and since there are 44 cards in each pack, divide that by 44. There would be a little bit over three packs in each box. Quick maths. And we're not done yet. I also have an entire sheet containing two unpunched packs of the cards. I got this in 2015 from another Return to Oz collector named Freddy, and he graciously gave this to me as a sort of thank you for helping him set up for the 2015 OzCon convention. So, I'm not trying to say that you'll get free stuff all the time if you go to an Oz convention, but you could leave with some really cool stuff from the auction. So, go to the conventions, join the Oz Club. Link in the description. These cards are a really great place to start if you want to start a Return to Oz collection for yourself, or if you want to expand your Wizard of Oz collection and include other memorabilia from other films. The complete 44 card set is still pretty affordable. I've seen them sell anywhere between $15 to 
And if you want to have any of those sealed sets just to show different packaging for the cards, those sell individually for even less than the complete set. Now, if you want to pick up the box, that's where you're going to get a little tripped up. These have gone up in price since I added this one to my collection. They sell now today for $60 a piece. And this just shows the demand for Return to Oz items has gone up since I started collecting just because of how many new collectors are interested in Return to Oz memorabilia. And how much does that unpunched sheet of cards go for? I have no idea. I've never seen one sell. Did you get these cards in 1985? Or did you get them later on like some of us? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.